Hello, this is Tali Andrews and welcome to the Asia edition of TDTV. The Maldives is set to undergo a comprehensive rebranding exercise in an effort to broaden its tourism appeal to wider markets. Commencing immediately, the rebranding will culminate in the development of new logo, slogan, advertising strategy and worldwide campaign in 2011. Simon Hawkins, a consultant to the Maldives Tourism and Promotion Board, said that the Maldives was far more than just sun and sea. China has commenced a major expansion of its national aircraft fleet with the signing of more than 100 Airbus jets. The order marks the start of what is expected to be a huge increase in passenger aviation capacity in China, which will see it become the world's second largest aircraft market after the US. Meanwhile, Boeing released a forecast predicting that China will require more than 4,000 new commercial aircraft value at nearly 500 billion US dollars over the next 20 years. In other news, international airlines cancelled flights to and from Jakarta this weekend due to the continued eruption of Mount Merapi in Java. 11 carriers cancelled a total of 36 services to the Indonesian capital as of Saturday, including Singapore Airlines, AirAsia, Emirates, Malaysia Airlines, JAL and Korean Air. Flights to Yogyakarta, Solo and Bandung were also being affected. The eruption of Mount Merapi, which lies 400 kilometres from Jakarta, has so far killed more than 100 people. Meanwhile, the UNWTO will assist the government of China in the development of its first ever national tourism law. The announcement follows last year's decision by the Chinese government to make tourism an official area for strategic development. Following the expected introduction of the new directive, all tourism-related business will be addressed from a legal and political perspective. And finally, in today's news, Singapore's Changi Airport Group has signed a memorandum of understanding with China's Henan province in a bid to develop air links between Singapore and cities in the region. Changi Airport is presently not connected to Henan, but passenger movements between Singapore and China increased nearly 25% to 2.5 million in the first nine months of 2010. The new agreement signed in Sengzhou will include the establishment and joint promotion of air routes, tourism cooperation and airport collaboration. And that's it for today. Thanks for joining us for the Asia edition of TDTV. We'll see you again tomorrow.